Good day class. In this video, I will teach you how to uh, get the rotation matrix of a spherical manipulator. Okay. Again, let's uh, get first our rotation matrix equation. So, we have R03 is equals to R01 times R12 times R23. Then, our... R01 will be derived by multiplying the derived stationary matrix to the moving rotation matrix. Okay. So, before that, let's uh, look at our mechanical manipulator and see if there is a joint variable theta between uh, frame 0 and frame 1. So, we have here theta 1. Okay. So, the spherical manipulator has the same uh, structure. Okay. has the same uh, configuration at the first two joint variable. The first two joint variables. So, this is a revolute, revolute, then prismatic. Okay, so as you can see, the theta 1 is at the axis of both z sub 0 and y sub 1 again. Okay, y sub 1 again. So this is y, z sub 0, this is y sub 1. So again, we will choose between, uh, between z rotation and y rotation. Axis. So let's go back to our uh, articulated manipulator and copy the Z rotation and Y rotation matrix. Okay. So the rule here is to choose either uh, one of the ra the rotation matrix, either Z or Y. Then it will still came up with same answer okay so now i will choose the z rotation matrix if we choose z rotation matrix we will multiply it at the left side okay of our stationary matrix So, same procedure, except uh, different position. Next, we derive the stationary matrix. Okay. So, to make this fast. Okay. So, X sub 1 is only related on uh, X sub 0. Okay. So, we will have this column. 1, 0, 0. Next, y sub 1 is only related on z sub 0. So, we will have this column 0, 0, 1. Ne then, z, z sub 1 is only related on y sub 0. Okay, this is Z sub 1. This is Y sub 0. Y sub 0 is at the opposite direction. So, this will be our column for Z sub 1. Column. Okay. Then, uh, let's do the 3 by 3. Matrix multiplication. To get the rotation matrix of R01. Okay. So. So this row. Then this column. Okay. For the first element. So cosine theta times 1. Plus negative sine theta times 0. Plus 0 times 0. So, we will get 
cosine theta 1. Okay, I'm sorry. I forgot to put the theta 1 on each joint variable. Okay, this is theta 1. This is theta 1. And this is theta 1. So if you code this to a programming language, don't forget we have uh, theta 1, theta 2, and theta 3 joint variables for this uh, mechanical manipulator. Okay, so our first element for the first column is cosine theta 1. Then next, okay, second row, so sine theta 1 times 1, cosine theta plus cosine theta 1 times 0, plus 0 times 0. So sine theta 1. Next, uh, 0 times 1 plus 0 times 0 plus 1 times 0. So, we will get 0. Okay. Then, second column. Let's uh, go back to the first row. Then, second column. So, cosine theta 1 times 0 plus negative, one, negative sine theta 1 times 0 plus 0 times 1, 0. Okay. Next, sine theta, uh, sin theta 1 times 0 plus cosine theta 1 times 0 plus 0 times 1, 0. Okay, next. Third row, 0 times 0 plus 0 times 0 plus 1 times 1. Okay. Then, last column. Okay, let's go back to the first row. Then, third column. So, cosine theta 1 times 0 plus negative sine theta 1 times negative 1 plus 0 times 0. So, we will get equals to sine theta 1. Okay, next, sine theta 1 times 0 plus cosine theta 1 times negative 1 plus 0 times 0. So, this is negative cosine theta 1. Okay, last, 1 times uh, 0 times 0 plus 0 times negative 1 plus 1 times 0. So, this is 0. Okay. So, if we look on our last uh, last answer for R01 of articulated manipulator, okay, we have the same answers okay, for R01. Okay. It's because, uh, again, the first two joints of uh, spherical and articulated manipulators are the same. Then, uh, then it doesn't matter whatever you choose from Z rotation matrix or Y rotation matrix as long as they are uh, multiplied at the right position so again if you have situation like this that the that uh joint variable theta is at the as uh, is at uh, is located at two 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 axis okay two axis uh choose one of them and if it's if it's uh from the ref it from in the uh if it's from the reference frame okay multiply it at the left side of the stationary matrix then if it's uh, from the projected frame multiply it at the right side of the stationary matrix okay so this is our r01 Next, for R12, okay, for R12, 
So this again is a spherical manipulator. Okay. So R12 This is our R12. Okay, R1 the frames of R1 of frame 1 and frame 2 are at the same origin. Okay? They are at the same origin. Then theta 2 Okay, theta 2 our next joint variable theta is uh, rotating or rotated at the axis or at the axis of z sub 1 and y sub 2. So again, we have the same situation from the first rotation matrix. Okay, the joint variable theta is rotating or rotated at two, uh, at two different uh, frame axes, z sub 1 and y sub 2. So we will again choose, okay, we will again choose either a z rotation or y rotation okay so i will choose the rotation then again y z rotation or where where will i put z rotation to the left or to the right side of the stationary matrix so z sub 1 is is now the reference frame while y sub 2 is the projected frame So, I will choose uh, Z rotation. It will be multiplied at the left side. Okay. So, I hope you un you understand what I'm uh, saying and doing. Okay. So, because now the reference frame is frame 1. Z rotation will, all will be multiplied at the left side of the the stationary matrix okay so this will be this is our stationary matrix okay so we will uh, derive the stationary matrix okay so this uh will be confusing just remember uh, the directions of our axis, if it's at the same direction, it will be automatically uh, 1. Okay? The element will be 1. So, first, the projection of x sub 2 on x sub 1. Okay? x sub 2 and x sub 1. X, uh, projection of x sub 2 on x sub 1, y sub 1, and z sub 1. So, this is x sub 2. It has the same direction with the uh, y sub 1. Okay? So it means it is only projected on y sub 1. Next, y sub 2 on x sub 1, y sub 1, and z sub 1. So y sub 2 is uh, pointing at the front and it its only projection is on z sub 1. Okay? So they are at the same direction. So this will be our projection. Then z sub 2 on x sub 1, y sub 1, and z sub 1. Okay? So z sub 2 is only projected on x sub 1. So we will get this. A column at z sub 2. Okay. Then use, uh, then uh, do the 3 by 3 matrix multiplication. Okay. So, this is much easier because most of the element of our matrix or our matrices are have uh, lots of zeros, okay? So, again, we will do 
a 3 by 3 matrix multiplication. So let's put our indicators. Okay, as a review of how to do 3 by 3 matrix multiplication. Okay, so sine theta times 0 plus negative sine theta. Okay, I forgot to put uh, subscripts 2, then 2, okay, 2, and then 2. So, cosine theta 2 times 0 plus negative sine theta 2 times 1 plus 0 times 0. So, this is negative sine theta 2. Okay, next. Sine theta 2 times 0 plus cosine theta 2 times 1 plus 0 times 0. So, this is equals to cosine theta 2. Next. Okay. Uh, so, 0 times 0 plus 0 times 1 plus 1 times 0. So, this is 0. Okay, so I will uh, just make this faster. Okay, so this will become zero. Okay, we are at the second column. So this is zero. Then second row, this will also be zero. Then third row, this will become one. Next, uh, let's go back to the first row, then third column. So, this will become cosine theta 2. Then, second row, this is sine theta 2. Okay. Then, third uh, row, so this is zero. Okay. So, this is our, sorry, this is our rotation matrix R12. Okay. Next, now we are at R two three, okay. So at uh, frame R two three, we don't have joint variable theta. We have here joint variable D, joint variable D three. So this is a prismatic joint, so we don't have theta here. So it means our moving matrix is an identity matrix. Okay, this is a our matrix here is an identity matrix. So because we have here an identity matrix, we can now uh, put an identity matrix okay, as our moving matrix. Okay, so this is R23. Okay, R23 multiplied to an identity matrix. Okay. So again, if you are uh, in a prismatic joint, if you're in a prismatic joint, just uh, put the identity matrix as our moving matrix. Okay. So this is 2, this is 2, and this is 2. Okay. So let's look at our uh, frame 2 and frame 3. So if we observe, the axis the axis of frame 2 and frame 3 are the same 
Okay, Z, X sub 2, X sub 3, Z sub 2, Z sub 3, they are pointing on the same direction. So, Y sub 2, Y sub 3. So, it also means that our station, stationary matrix is an identity matrix. Okay, so we have here R2, 3, an identity matrix. Okay. So this is the rotation matrix R23. Okay. Uh, an identity matrix. So again, you may use MATLAB to get the product and uh, solve for and solve for the rotation matrix of R03. Okay. So thank you.